Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to your reading of for the next three months. And the theme is money and career. What do we have here? Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so new beginnings in love, in stability. Whatever this is, is... Um, is an offer for you from the divine is something that you it feels like you're opening up to you know whether whether is a new environment in the physical a new job a new workplace or just a different way in which you move right now there's just something different about the way the way in which you're moving so yeah i was even about to ask the question before those cards popped out so what is the energy you're moving in with or you are moving with? Again, Ace of, Ace of Cups, you're moving with the energy of opening up to your emotions, to allowing flow to happen, to... This is giving sacral chakra, you know, the I'm getting sexual energy as well. Uh, so there's just a lot of flow and creative flow. So sexual and creative flow and yeah this is something you're open to at this time and it's all yeah it's keeping you in flow in abundance okay what is the energy that Serge is moving with in the next three months and this video is going to be more than 10 minutes you can find the full video uploaded on youtube okay we have the high priestess so this what like the process that you go through the events that come your way to open you up uh they're elevating you in this high priestess mode in your energy of knowing you may be connected to a pisces but it feels like this is an inner journey for you this is a spiritual process that is going on for you when it comes to your third eye chakra your extraordinary vision just your knowing i'm getting it's all about your knowing moving with your knowing okay and uh yeah you get you're being elevated in that this three in this um within this period then we have eight of swords eight of swords is like yeah you're moving out of this this is taking this away that when i see the eight of swords i see illusions i see mind imprisonment i see yeah mind slavery as well so anything that is coming in the way to put you in this situation whether it's yourself it's uh your, your past conditioning past energies as well patterns you're being elevated above this energy because eight plus two is ten so yeah and then this is a high, major arcana this is something that is a limiting pattern so you're rising above mind imprisonment. You are getting to see clearly. Like with the, I'm getting with the eyes of love. Like what love really is. And it may be that you are coming to, maybe this is also what you offer. You may come, I'm, I'm getting a Pisces energy as well. So there may be a connection with a Pisces. We'll look further into that. This doesn't have to be a romantic connection. Hmm. A lot of water energy here, or you have that in your chart. Five of Pentacles. Moving away from a place of scarcity and with the page of cups facing away from the five of pentacles. It's like you're seeing, you're seeing beyond, you're going to be seeing above and beyond offers like this. Again, that energy of illusion is coming from you, like seeing beyond illusions. Offers that feel like this, but they really are not. 
and this is what is helping you to move out from a pattern of lack of scarcity and feeling stuck with the eight of swords and page of cups these two cards are as good as the four of cups but the emphasis here is what is what keeps you blinded you're going to be seen beyond it so let's get more about the high priestess here eight of wands yeah you're in you're in for the ride of your life when it comes to your manifestations you are in for victory and uh, this may be fast communications coming in from the ethers for you for the high priestess and i feel like this is it may be your work again 10 uh, 8 plus 2 is 10. this high priestess is right in the middle of eight of wands and eight of swords so this is about your liberation your journey to your liberation and you unhinging on hooking yourself it's like you are untying yourself like you're not even seeing this it's like you know that kind of energy and this is exactly it this is your experience ace of wands ace of cups came out i think i saw ace of pentacles as well then now we have ace of wands together with the eight of wands so you're going to be feeling fiery and it's going to come together it's like fire and water together you're cool and flowy yet you're warm so not everyone can touch you and this feels like your energy okay let's look into this cards oh it's supposed to be here whoa shedding you are starting to outgrow your work situation you need to set higher goals and standards you work well in healing and medicine drama beware of troublemakers in the workplace the job you want may have too much upheaval to bear keep emotions and gossip in check talk about ace of cups money matters money matters a lot now watch your expenses and save up for the future you need to be prepared for the unexpected prickly situation you need both tact and diplomacy to reach your goals the struggle is worth the price walk around the issue and use a gentle touch okay Sarge, i'm getting that this is maybe a work situation that you are in and whoever it is that you work for or you work with they have this energy of uh you know i'm getting fake and you see through it like you can see the mindset that they are in and you are all about being here you're all about your money so perhaps this is really a confirmation for you and you may find yourself moving at some point because you're like you know this place is keeping me stuck or this or this is something that has happened for you it may be that you're looking to do this or it has happened already but i'm getting that this place kept you in a lack mindset even though you could see through it but the environment was not really helping you so these three months are significant for you moving out of this prickly situation and with the swords being here so it feels like words and stuff said and you're like you know yeah you've seen through it okay so let's get more cards from here roll the dice time to put yourself out there you're hiding your talents and it's time to take a risk and step into the spotlight now wealth Ooh, 
the gold. You are walking towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning. It's right underneath Five of Pentacles. Let me read that again. And roll the dice and wealth are coming together. Hmm. You are working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning. So this three months will be or will bring you to events or situations where you find yourself planning like long-term building structure planning your way out of and I, I don't feel like you're saying i'm getting out of this i'm just getting it's all about you right now it's all about you waking up and trusting what you see and what you have felt and as the message came earlier, I'm getting that this reading is really just a confirmation for you. Yeah. Ups and downs. Your work has potential for both advancement and stagnation. See if there's hope, but allow yourself to move on if needed. What more? What's the time? It's just 11 minutes and I feel like we've covered everything. Illumination. Something hidden is coming to light now. You find out about new jobs, opportunities, and options. Someone lends you a helping hand. So I'm getting that whatever is happening with this page of cups, it may be someone coming in to help you. So seeing that, you know, in all of this uh, fakeness, there is some real as well. So not everything is fake. So to look out for that, to use the senses that you have to look out for the real. It's like looking for something in a haystack, not a needle. It's not a needle because I feel like there are more numbers to the good in this situation. And it's just for you to look. And it doesn't have to be in this context, in this workplace. It may just be that, yeah, you are, you are harnessing this high priestess skills to sniff out the good. And to enhance it, to magnify it. Trapped came out earlier, but I'll read it again. You feel stuck in your current situation, but you do have options. Look for another job while keeping the one you have for now. Yeah, it came out uh, for Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken, and then... Yeah, there, there's a situation that is trying to keep you feel like feeling like there is no way out. But then you've seen through it. So I want to get some advice right now concerning this situation in the coming months. Okay. Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. Hermit, retreat and recharge. Stag, trust and thrive. Okay, one more. Mountain, stand your ground. So there's a lot to do with the earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of grounding and resourcefulness. Yeah. Okay, let's get one more. Summer, bask in joy and light. And then we have sage, be devoted and committed. I believe this sage is talking about your spiritual journey because you already have the hints and you're now getting to build up that gift that you have gradually. Okay, Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. So there is a strong energy of grounding here. Standing your ground as to what you know. Trusting the messages that are coming in for you. Let's see. Where is Earth Mother? 35, which is also a number 8. She's right on top of the 8 of Wands. A 
Allow yourself to be cherished. Earth Mother is protecting you with a shield of love and light. Earth Mother is the female counterpart to Sky Father. It's auspicious to receive this card because in the eyes and heart of Earth Mother, you are her child and she is highly protective of her baby and will give you everything you need to grow and expand. Earth, Earth Mother is only covered by leaves in this card, showing the vulnerability of the Earth. Every day she experiences challenges and she has to adapt to and overcome. Okay? Every day she experiences challenges that she has to adapt to and overcome. Her energy, represented by the symbol of the pagan triple goddess, maiden, mother and crone, behind her can help you adapt to as the changes of life come your way. You may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently, but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Earth Mother is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light and it's important you know that and feel loved. If you have had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself, know that energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection. You're being guided to make choices that are based on love. Mm. And it Right underneath the deck, underneath the deck for the wild and sacred feminine, we have total grounding. Um, so there's a lot of grounding energy that you're being asked to do right now because there is help coming your way from spirit. It's like spirit is like this is not only your battle, this is our battle as well. We see you, we see where you're going, we see the environment that you're in that is may not be helping you. This may not even be a workplace, this may be because with Earth Mother coming here, it may be a home situation or all of the above where you just are right now in your phase in your life. And I'm getting with this is of course is to allow your emotions to flow. I'm making sure that we get some advice as well. We get some information regarding this three months and not only the problem. So tag is trust and thrive. Tag is a warrior symbol. Yeah. One, three, four, which is number eight, Sagittarius. You are in for some massive support here. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace and majesty. The stag card brings graceful and powerful medicine into your life. In the Celtic traditions, the stag, with his crown of antlers, is known as the king of the forest and is a totem that brings protection in challenging times. In Native American traditions, he is greatly loved for stags and deer have provided food for the people and materials that have allowed them to create medicine items such as drums, rattles and smudge fans. Although the stag has been haunted in the past and still is, he has strength, dignity and poise. When this card arises, it can also represent fertility and sexuality, maybe an opportunity to explore, to explore your sexual side with your spiritual integrity supporting you on that journey. You have an opportunity to thrive. Trust in all that you have to offer. All your gifts, strength and power. Okay. Trust that you trust in all that you have to offer. All your gifts, strength and power and make the most of it. You were born to lead and this can only become reality when you are willing to put yourself in that position. Stark energy allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere with your intelligence and presence. Okay. Stag energy allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere with your intelligence and presence and their strength gives you the power to be agile in your thinking. You're being encouraged to retain your dignity and be proud of who you are and all that you have accomplished. This in turn will give you even more power to thrive onwards and upwards. As I live the ace of wands, what do we have? Ten of pentacles onwards and upwards and the ten of swords in the inverted position you know what whatever this is it doesn't have power over you anymore and it feels like you are you're actually trusting where you are at you are, and as I said that, what did I see? Tag, trust, and thrive. So this may also, this feels like your energy, Sag. 
it feels like your energy yeah it feels like you're doing exactly this and the only thing that is coming from earlier is this earthing the rooting opening up to the help that is available to you yeah confirmation opening up to the help that is available to you through your grounding so it may be something that you're still working on uh grounding your energy because it feels like you are fighting <laughs> you yeah i'm getting that you are fighting hmm. like not so much physical fighting but you are standing your ground yeah as to what you know and feel We're not up to 30 minutes, Serge, and I have reached 30 minutes or thereabout for all the signs. So what we're going to do now is reshuffle the cards and uh, see what to look forward to in the next three months. Okay, let's put these cards together. Leave the past and see what to look forward to. Just going to look at the time that is 21, 27. Okay. 21, 27. Okay. So, what will you look forward to or what is Sagittarius looking forward to? in the next three months ten of pentacles connection with your ancestors through your grounding um this is your inheritance overflowing inheritance in your gifts i'm getting the high priestess energy is coming to serve you well and it's not only when it comes to your your current situation there is something that is being harnessed because of the situation that you're in and that is your spiritual gift and it make it's going i'm not even getting may it's going to come in handy in some business idea with the ace of ones that came earlier it's going to come in handy with something that you will be starting or you are already looking to start and you grounding yourself uh, coming fully into your new cycle like getting really intentional about it so this is what to look forward to the ten of pentacles as much as I want to mention money alone, which is part of it, I don't want to put the emphasis on money. If you get what I mean. But it's part of it. Okay? Okay, what's the Ten of Pentacles about? Page of Pentacles. The Empress. So this may be offers. I'm getting a business... Um, idea here with the page of pentacles it may also be a money offer it may be money coming in as well but whatever this is is like you're sitting very abundant or it's helping you to stay abundant to stay comfortable yeah energy does not lie now there's something that is coming in and your ancestors, your spirit guides are reminding you that you're well taken care of and you're going to continue to sit confidently in your power, to sit confidently in this um, empress state. You may be a mother as well or a nurturer, someone in a caring position. But yeah, there there is good news coming in for you regarding money as you come into yeah it feels like you are at crossroads now and you're crossing that road you are ending that old cycle and coming into your abundance i'm getting connection to nature here and um, yeah so much abundance and expansion three three and progress Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles came like that. So I'm getting focus as well. And uh, balance, harmony, as above, so below. You've put in a lot of work in your below. You've invested 
a lot of your time and energy into learning about yourself, into your spiritual work. And this red is all the root chakra. So there's an energy of grounding coming in. And it feels like you are doing it. You are doing a lot of grounding work. Yeah, it's just coming for some, yeah, there, maybe there's some energies that will come to want to, you know, alter that stability and the need for you to, you know, stand your ground. What do we have here? This is you. Yeah, you're getting... You may have already started a business or a craft. And what I'm getting here is you are right on track and it's lucrative. It's going to work for you. You're going to be seeing results. There are going to be offers coming in sooner than you expect. It may also be a king of pentacles. So far, I've gotten Pisces energy, water sign, and then there is earth sign. But I'm getting this is all about your stability, Sag. This is all about your stability to keep you in this Empress mode. The world is here as well. So what's one more thing? Ooh. Two of swords, yeah. There is something that will keep trying to keep you at this crossroads that you're you're looking to cross right now you're choosing a path you have chosen a path already you're in the process of doing that so expect this energy to come in of not really knowing a direction to go with the two of pentacles two two so but then you have this high priestess skill that is helping you to keep moving and the Empress as well. Reclaim your power. You're, you're taking back your power. This King of Pentacles, King of Wands as well, is also an energy of you taking back your power from whatever this is. This may also be a bus, Sag. So there may be someone coming to give you another <laughs> okay i'm getting another side of the story there may be someone coming to give you an offer maybe it's a boss an employee no an employer and this offer is going to be like so tiny <laughs> and it's all to get you back to that place where you felt blinded even though you could see and it's asking you to Spirit is saying to that you have you're in the process of reclaiming your power in the process of taking back your power so stay with it because you are the empress this person is a page even though they can they disguise as this king of pentacles they are a page a page is someone who is a, a rookie like they can't compare to the empress but whatever this is is coming to put you back here Hmm. Taking back your power. And apply this also. It may be an employer. It may be a love connection. Or both. Hmm. Tell me more about the Empress. There are many messages that are coming with this Empress. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Protect your energy. Protect your energy from this situation. Whoever this is may want to give to you as well. But there's an energy of protection coming your way. But it feels like they're holding on tight. They're holding on tight. Go with your intuition about this situation. But this is what is coming your way. While you are on the way to this, 
your ten of pentacles there's a page of pentacles coming it's like a swaying energy like a distraction like something to pull you back let's get a bit more about the two of pentacles i'm getting capricorn energy as well queen of wands king of wands the two of pentacles and queen of wands is like an energy of expansion the queen of wands is adventurous that is your energy Sag. in her power or his power or their power whatever the case the queen of wands moves with faith knowing that they are well taken care of so this is the energy you're moving with while also knowing that this is going to come at play some kind of event um it could also be that you sense being manifested back but yeah it feels like a very <laughs> tiny offer that is coming your way that is not worth it because you are the empress you're all about your progression yeah protect your energy focus on your manifestation eight plus four is 12 which is number three see that no looking back but of course we have free will and this is what is coming your way okay Sarge ace of cups new beginnings I'm going to stop here for now. Um, guided to take one more card from here. So this is bringing to your awareness. These energies. Maiden, innocence. is coming like that. So you're not the whole la 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 la. It's like this person is aware. Sees the bigger picture sees beyond bs and keeps moving in that energy so it doesn't mean she doesn't or he doesn't have access to this you do have access to that it's just that you're very focused and whatever is for you will step up and will align with you Send us so much love. If this message resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow. And do take care.